What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to go over three secret tips that can help you actually play better and actually get a better, you know, picture of what's going on around you in Warzone. Before we get to that, I want you guys to subscribe if you haven't already, to drop a thumbs up on today's video, and then comment down below if you guys have any more tips that you want to share down below that I didn't cover in today's video that you feel like are secret tips. Thanks guys, much once again, let's get right into this. Now, the first thing that I want to say to you guys that is a secret tip of mine that I actually want to talk about would be the contextual tap. Now, a lot of people actually realize do not actually use this, and any random that I actually come up to in-game, they actually don't know about this secret setting. So all you have to do is press star, go to options, and it's on your controller tab, and you want to scroll all the way down until you see the weapons one, and then you just scroll all the way down until you see use slash reload behavior. Now, there's three options. One is tap to reload, one is tap to use, and one is contextual tap. Some people were talking about how they don't want to put tap to use on because it makes it to where you have to hold X to reload. But if you put contextual tap on, it'll actually make it to where you have to tap to use stuff and pick up stuff and loot stuff. And it'll make it to where you have to tap X to reload and etc, etc, etc. Another thing as well, the next tip I want to go over is how to make your mini-map bigger in Warzone. And this one is a huge one. All you have to do is go down to the general tab in your options. You're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to put on the HUD. And you're going to see the mini-map shape. All you have to do is put it on square. That's pretty much it. And it makes a big difference whenever you're playing Warzone, especially if people are firing like you know their gunshots across the street or something like that. And you can't see them on the round one, but you can most definitely see them on the square mini-map. Another thing as well is make sure you have your wor uh, your weapon motion blur and your world motion, motion blur, Jesus, I can't talk, your world motion blur and your weapon motion blur disabled because it actually does put you at a disadvantage in the game. It makes a huge difference if they are disabled. Another thing as well is another tip that I want to go over and I actually made a whole video about it is if you guys buy a UAV as a unit, all three of your teammates, then if you use all three UAVs at the same time, it will give you an advanced UAV. For those of you who do not know what an advanced UAV is, it's pretty much a better UAV that pretty much shows you their exact shape as a triangle. And it shows you exactly which direction they're looking. And it shows their exact movements. Another thing as well, I don't really have any gameplay clips of this because I did record some of this, but it messed up the recordings. So I just want to talk about it. Another tip that I want to give to you guys, the reason why I didn't say it was another tip because I didn't want to not show you gameplay of it. So I'm just going to talk about it. One thing that I've actually noticed is if you're on top of a rooftop or if you're up, some, uh, if you're up top somewhere high and you're trying to apply armor onto your character, if you start the armor applying animation and you jump off the roof and pull out your parachute, it will actually cancel the animation but also still put on your armor. I've noticed this many, many times. Now, I tried this whenever I was at 2 out of 3, so I don't know how exactly it works out of 0 out of 3, but I do know if you try it at 2 out of 3 and you put an armor plate on and you're doing the animation and you jump off the roof and you pull your parachute, shoot it will actually cancel the animation and still give you the armor that's pretty much it though guys it's pretty much just four simple tips and stuff like that it's stuff that's going to help you play better in warzone and get a better advantage over your enemies in warzone so make sure you guys do change these settings they're really simple settings and make sure you guys try out these little strategies that i just gave to you guys and tell me down below if you guys did try them and how they actually helped you when playing warzone but anyways guys much once again Peace.